Hello and welcome to the Prom 9. I've just done my blue shift, although I won't upload it at the same time. Anyway, so now we're on good old Half-Life Opposing Force. We've just finished the introductory scene, which out of all the introductory scenes out of Half-Life is the best. The soldiers on this are typical stereotyped Yankee soldiers, which is pretty understandable due to the location the game was made, so a very stereotyped sort. One quote is, as long as I get to kill me something, I'm not so good at the accent. So you're a shepherd in this, this was made by Gearbox and this is the first add-on to the Half-Life 1 and if you ask me, the best. It's a good length, it's good fun and just has that feel. Although if this is supposed to be a medical facility, it's lacking medical equipment. I started here in particular because there's a few things I want to show but the vast vastness of the levels of the level design once again is beautiful. It's almost enough of, well, a wet dream. Anyway, uh, looking at my Blue Shift video, my rant about the computers, the lack of desktop computers in the game, yeah, if that's how I talk in general, no wonder people have trouble understanding me, so I'm sorry on any of that front. But to be fair, I do have some sort of speech impediment -y thing that I don't quite know what it's called. But I do like the whole setup. The beginning introduction bit is so well done. I mean, you're just running through the remnants of a medical facility. And it just has a real feel to it. I've turned the volume down. I don't know if you can hear it, but I turned it down so it doesn't take up all my commentary. They should have used the dead textures for these particular computers which are damaged. Although once again I have nicked textures from this for my custom levels. This is pretty cool. Although once again you look at the desktop computer in there and God knows why there's an ultrasound of a baby. Shouldn't it be like an ultrasound of the zombie thing, there's x-rays of it up on fields here you can put that in and out oh yeah we've got standard torch on this have you Slight, well I'm not sure where that went but anyway so once again opposing forces very well done. I do love this beginning bit. The Oris security guards are just a joke. <laughs> they made me laugh. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, now this is more the sort of desktop I'd expect on all the computers rather than the ultrasound scan, although the a computer which is pretty much the height of me is something you're never likely to come across in real life but that's just me being picky and I can tell you this reviewing my customer, I doubt I'll pick them apart as much as I do that others have made okay just let me through Okay, I've turned it up so you can actually hear it now because maybe some of you are actually interested in the dialogue who haven't seen this game. Okay. 
Yeah, I needed to breathe there, you see. I do need oxygen. Oh, yeah. Uh, he did highlight about my pausing. However, oh, there isn't a lot I can really do about that. Okay, so... This is once again an ice. Good old lazy man. And okay, optical mirrors are fragile. I suppose that was all revealing hints of what to do. That isn't the worst. Now, once again, they've done an appropriate desktop rather than an ultrasound scan of a baby. Although the resolution's far too low, not like that one. Anyway. So we're stuck under that, yeah, yeah, usual sort of stuff. And we do what we're supposed to, break the mirror, that goes on that, blows on that, short circuits out, power goes off and the alarms go on. Although considering the power went off, the computer's still running. And you can pass through the laser without getting cut in half. So you run through, got your usual head crab. Would you just battle with this, run through? Level design once again very good. I'll just be no I'm the head crabs are rather frisky when it comes to the old head. I like the fact that they're destroyable, although when you destroy them they should change texture, and rather than having pipes behind there, stick one of the circuit board textures behind there, because that just isn't good. And we have the usual G-Man who appears in all the games. Although a little more active than I in all the other games. And what do you know? Conveniently? Bang! So, whack, whack. This must be so exciting for you. Anyway. So this will do the Half-Life 1 series for now. The Half-Life 1 ones, that, the Half-Life ones are the only ones that seem to have got any popularity. Even the Dead Space one didn't, which surprised me. Oh god, by hell. Oh yes, Portal 2. Man, I want that. I think I will actually buy the bullet and actually spend a lot of money on that. The games are horribly expensive. Normally I try and get them for birthday present stuff, and I have a job as well, so maybe I'm just stingy, maybe I'm a bargain hunter. So now we're in a nice little outside area. You do get down there eventually, so that's the way it goes. So you run through, enjoying it, enjoying the sights as Interestingly, I've picked this up and someone has previously used this wrench to bash someone's head in because it's already got blood on it. Ah, and the knife. I remember it being a bit faster than that. And I'm not sure about the choice of music here. Oh god. I like making their corpses explode. Yeah, you got the symbol stuff is always funny. You know what? Why not? Just get zapped by an electrified plane. There's a bit of his gut though. It's a game, so it really doesn't matter. Um. You know what? Well, I've played through this a few times. Ah, oh, there's where to go. Ah, 
There we go. Maybe it's just some sick pleasure of mine watching them explode. Mind you, I remember the first time I played Half-Life when I was little. It was in the time of the PS1 and I just saw the graphics of it and everything about it was so good. Oh damn, I missed him get shot. Oh well. You can probably find millions of videos on YouTube that have him being shocked. Ah, I'm glad he was here. Maybe I shouldn't make him so long, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think that sums it where I should die. I get two involved. What the hell? Shouldn't they have a grill texture for the bottom of the helm there? See what I mean about me picking out these fart little things? I'm such a fussy bugger. The unrealism of our arcing electric arcing invents, though, is what makes games games. A game wouldn't be complete if it wasn't random electricity arcing inside a ventilation system. <laughs> yeah, maybe my levels focus too much on realism. But when I figure out how to get them up 